Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about peritonsillar abscess or Quincy. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The term peri means surrounding. Peritonsillar abscess is collection of pus beside the tonsil. Peritonsillar space is the space between the capsule of tonsil and the superior constrictor muscle. Peritonsillar abscess is defined as collection of pus in the peritonsillar space. This picture shows the tonsil and the superior constrictor muscle. This space is called the peritonsillar space and collection of pus in this space is called as peritonsillar abscess. This picture shows a patient with peritonsillar abscess. Now let us see about the etiology of this condition. It usually follows acute tonsillitis. It can arise de novo also. One of the crypts of tonsil, usually the crypta magna, gets infected and sealed off. This leads to the formation of an intratonsillar abscess. This intratonsillar abscess bursts through the tonsillar capsule leading to peritonsillitis and the formation of a peritonsillar abscess. Now let us see about the bacteriology of this condition. It is a mixed infection. That is, both aerobic and anaerobic organisms are involved. The most common organisms involved are Streptococcus pyogenes, Staphylococcus aureus and other anaerobic organisms. Now let us see about the clinical features of this condition. It mostly affects adults. It is usually unilateral. The general symptoms are fever, chills and rigor, general malaise, body aches, headache, nausea and constipation. The local symptoms include severe pain in throat, dysphagia that is difficulty in swallowing and odinophagia that is painful swallowing. This leads to dehydration because the patient is not able to swallow even fluids. There can be hot potato voice that is muffled and thick speech. There can be foul breath and ipsilateral earache. The ipsilateral earache is due to referred pain through the ninth cranial nerve conduction. It can also cause trismus that is difficulty in opening the mouth due to the involvement of the pterygoid muscle. On examination, the tonsil, pillars and soft palate are congested and swollen. The tonsil may not appear enlarged as it gets buried in the edematous pillars. The uvula appears swollen, edematous and it is pushed to the opposite side. The bulging of the soft palate and anterior pillar above the tonsil can be seen. Mucopus may be seen covering the tonsil. There can be cervical lymphadenopathy. This is due to the involvement of the jugulodigastric lymph nodes. There can be torticollis, that is, the neck is tilted to the side of abscess. How do you diagnose a case of peritonsillar abscess? Diagnosis can be made based on history, examination, ultrasonography can be done, CT scan and needle aspiration can also be done. This picture shows a patient with peritonsillar abscess as seen in a CT scan. Now let us see about the complications of this condition. If peritonsillar abscess is not treated properly, it can lead to other parapharyngeal abscesses. It can lead to edema of larynx, that is, it can cause obstruction of airway. Tracheostomy should be done in this cases. It can lead to septicemia, that is, it can cause endocarditis, nephritis and brain abscess. It can cause pneumonitis or lung abscess due to aspiration of pus. It can lead to jugular vein thrombosis. It can lead to spontaneous hemorrhage from carotid artery or jugular vein. How do you treat a case of peritonsillar abscess? Hospitalization is required. IV fluids should be given to correct dehydration. IV antibiotics can be given. Analgesics like paracetamol or pethidine can be given. Oral hygiene should be maintained by hydrogen peroxide or saline mouthwashes. Incision and drainage of abscess should be done. The abscess is opened at the point of maximum bulge above the upper pole of tonsil or it can be opened just lateral to the point of junction of anterior pillar and a line drawn through the base of uvula. Interval tonsillectomy can be done. That is, tonsillectomy can be done 4 to 6 weeks after an attack of Quincy. Abscess or hot tonsillectomy can also be done. That is, tonsillectomy can be done in the presence of a peritonsillar abscess. However, there is risk of rupture of the abscess and it can lead to excessive bleeding. Thank you. Please comment your suggestions. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.